what is Rihanna's umbrella song about? First times I've heard this song, I was confused. Is it about a woman's unconditional friendship for her man? Is it a sexy song? At face value, it seems so. However, if you listen closely to Rihanna and Jay-Z's words, you might notice that the lyrics do not make any sense. The vocabulary used in the song is not about a relationship between two lovers. The fact is, Umbrella is about a subject matter that is sinister, dark and disturbing. Becoming possessed by evil. In a nutshell, the song talks about a storm that's about to take place, and Rihanna offers her loved one protection under her umbrella. In this song, you can stand under my umbrella, can have a sexual connotation, but it mostly means, you can be under my protection. When you are under something's protection, this something has more power than you regarding your own security. You depend on it. It has control over you. It possesses you. The song is not about love between woman and man, it's about being protected. It is not an equal relationship. The one that protects, basically owns the person that is protected. The first thing that you need to know about the song's lyrics is that Rihanna sings the whole song, but she actually takes on two roles. During the first half of the song, she plays the role of an evil entity that is trying to seduce and possess Rihanna. For the purpose of this analysis, I will call this entity the devil. The second role she plays is herself. So the song is basically a dialogue between the devil and Rihanna. The video of the song makes this very clear, and I will explain how later. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Possession, in relationship to non-human entities, deals with a phenomena, wherein a non-human entity, controls the human being, through various methods, in possession, the human being cannot think for themselves. Instead, their thoughts are given to them by their possessor. We'll see how the devil tries and succeeds at possessing Rihanna in this song. There is a reason why the album is called Good Girl Gone Bad. So the song starts off with a verse of rapper Jay-Z. He plays the role of someone that has already been possessed and already under the umbrella of the devil. Here's his verse. No clouds in my stones. Let it rain, I hydroplane in the bank. Coming down with the Dow Jones. When the clouds come, we gone, we Rockefeller. We fly higher than weather. And G5s are better, you know me, an anticipation, for precipitation. Stack chips for the rainy day. J, Rain Man is back with Little Miss Sunshine. Rihanna, where you at? Explanation. No clouds in my stones. Let it rain, I hydroplane in the bank. Coming down with the Dow Jones. So, the storm is in fact related to the economy and the financial world. Coming down with the Dow Jones reflects the situation. The Dow Jones is the main indicator of the health of the stock market. If it plummets, we can talk about a market crash. You'll notice that the whole song has a pessimistic outlook concerning the future. Jay-Z is saying, let it rain, he doesn't care about the financial crisis, he hydroplanes in the bank. In other words, while the bank is being flooded by this storm and people are drowning in it, he's above the water and surviving the crisis. When the clouds come, we gone, we Rockefeller. In other words, when the financial crisis will occur, we won't be here to suffer through it. Rockefeller is the name of Jay-Z's record label. It also refers to John D. Rockefeller and his family, the biggest industrialists in American history, and huge actors in the formation of the social economic world we're currently living in. Many historians claim the Rockefellers have engineered the crash of 1929 to be able to obtain a stronghold on America's banking system, Congressman, Charles A. Lindbergh Sr., accurately proclaimed in 1930, he said, from now on depressions, will be scientifically created. We fly higher than weather. And G5s are better, you know me. We fly higher than the weather means that Jay-Z cannot be affected by the financial crisis because he is above the problem. He enjoys a protection that makes him invulnerable to the storm. The fact that he says, we fly higher than the weather, implies that a select few can have the same kind of privileges he has. G5 is a kind of private jet, so he will live in luxury, even when the crisis strikes the rest of the world. An anticipation for precipitation. Stack chips for the rainy day. Jay-Z says here that he was expecting this major crisis or the precipitation, and so he has prepared financially to face it. Seems like he had prior knowledge of the events that would occur in the future. 
Is he talking about the recession that is happening in 2008, and now? Jay, Rain Man is back with Little Miss Sunshine. Rihanna, where are you at? Jay aka Rain Man. He has been possessed by the devil, contrarily to Rihanna, who he calls Little Miss Sunshine. Rihanna is the good girl. Jay-Z is already bad and he is asking Rihanna to join him. So Jay-Z lyrics have nothing to do with love, friendship or any type of relationship. His lyrics are saying that he is part of the chosen, the elite, the secret group that cannot be harmed by the trials and tribulations of the small people. Even if there's a major crisis, he's associated with the very people that make those crises happen, so he won't be affected. This group, however, bows down and worships evil. If Rihanna wants to be part of them, she has to do the same. You have my heart. And we'll never be worlds apart. Maybe in magazines. But you'll still be my star. Baby cause in the dark. You can't see shiny cars. And that's when you need me there. With you I'll always share. Rihanna sings this part, but it is actually the devil talking to Rihanna. He is sweet talking her, so she can accept the idea of the devil entering her body. Here's how we can translate the lyrics. I love you. Even if I'm not from your world, I'll never be far from you. You may be famous and in magazines. But you'll always be my star, nobody else's. Because when you won't be successful anymore. When you won't be able to buy shiny cars and material things. That's when you'll need my protection. With you, I'll always share my riches. So the devil is offering Rihanna a lifetime of riches and luxury, even when she'll lose her popularity and stop generating money from her singing career. Tempting, isn't it? By the way, I am sorry, I can't sing. When the sun shines, we'll shine together. Told you I'll be here forever. Said I'll always be your friend. Took an oath, Emma stick it out till the end. Now it's raining more than ever. But we'll still have each other. You can stand under my umbrella. You can stand under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, A, 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 A. Under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, A, A, A. Under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, A, A, A. Under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, A, 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 A. Translation. When you shine from your success, we both profit from it. I will always be part of you. I will always be on your side. I promised you, I would protect you, and I will do it as long as necessary. Now the financial crisis is afflicting the world. But I'm still here with you. You can be under my protection. You can be under my protection. What's up with the Ella Ella A's? It sounds catchy, doesn't it? The repetitive and hypnotic rhythm of this chant makes it very reminiscent of magical spells, conjurations or summons. These fancy things will never come in between. You're part of my entity, here for infinity. When the war has took its part. When the world has dealt its cards. If the hand is hard, together we'll mend your heart. Translation. All of your material possessions will never separate me and you. You're part of my entity, I own you, until the end of times. When the crisis has ravaged the world. When we'll know the final outcome of the world. If you're in trouble, me and you will stop the pain. Your part of my entity is very relevant here, because entity is not a word in the vocabulary used between loved ones. Nobody will say to his or her lover you're part of my entity. An entity is not human. An entity is something that has a distinct separate existence, though it need not be a material existence. Here for infinity also gives a non-human feel to the lyrics, as if this power doesn't live or die, it is immortal. When the war has took its part. When the world has dealt its cards is a particularly gloomy passage. It basically predicts a terrible event that will strike severely the entire world and that will rearrange the way it will function afterward. The Great Reset. Once again, we refer to a huge crisis that is about to occur and the devil is trying to convince Rihanna to let him protect her. You can run into my arms. It's okay, don't be alarmed. Come into me. There's no distance in between our love. So go on and let the rain pour. I'll be all you need and more. Because. This part is actually a dialogue between the devil and Rihanna. It is difficult to notice because there's no difference in the tone of voice. The video, however, gives a visual clue of the dialogue by reversing the image when Rihanna answers the devil. So, the devil is telling Rihanna. You can run into my arms. It's okay don't be alarmed. Translation. You can come and seek my protection. Don't be scared of the crisis. Rihanna answers come into me as in come inside of my body and possess me. Both Rihanna and devil say. There's no distance between our love. The devil is effectively now inside of her, there's no more distance between them. 
And the devil finishes by saying. So go on, and let the rain pour. I'll be all you need, and more. Translation. Let the world get what it deserves, I'll take care of you. So now that you probably gained another perspective on the song's lyrics, we can proceed to analyze the video, which carries heavy symbolism, and confirms the theory of the devil trying to possess Rihanna. The video also adds a layer of interpretation, by depicting the process of possession as a rape. At the beginning, we see Jay-Z with six black-clad women. As previously stated, Jay-Z is already possessed in the song. The six women represent Jay-Z's thoughts being controlled. We see her hand dressed in black and wearing a top hat, a visual clue to represent the evil entity, which is masculine. The long claw-like fingernails give a sense of a demonic ungodly creature. When Rihanna starts singing, she moves in a sexually seductive way to reflect the devil's attempt to seduce Rihanna. He wants to possess her, not only mentally but physically also. This picture is the explosion we see in the video, right after the first verse. This explosion of chrome-colored liquid represents something truly disturbing. The rape of Rihanna by the devil. This frame represents the rape of Rihanna. Dressed in white, and thus embodying the good girl with values, Rihanna dances while performing defensive gestures. She is trying to protect herself from the chrome liquid, which represents the seminal fluid of the devil. The liquid hits her a total of six times. We then see Rihanna naked, covered in chrome-colored liquid. Rihanna has been raped by the devil, and covered with his ass. She seems in pain and not herself. On this frame, we see her inside a triangle. This is very symbolic. For occultists, an upwards triangle represents the phallus, the p***s, male energy. Rihanna is inside the triangle. She is completely owned and under the spell of the devil's energy. Look closely at this frame. It appears very briefly at around 2.46 in the video. It is Rihanna on her knees, her head on the floor. It's also something else. The face of the devil. It has been made to look like Baphomet, who is an intricate part of occult mysteries. You see the two eyes, snout and the antlers. This frame has been digitally manipulated to look like this, because it is anatomically incorrect. No human can assume this position in real life. This image has been placed on purpose and only for a fraction of a second. Classic subliminal message. So Rihanna has been abused, and we saw the face of the devil, so what's next? Rihanna has now become the bad girl dressed in black. She is surrounded by six black-clad men, like Jay-Z at the beginning, to represent her state of possession. She dances suggestively with a closed umbrella, which represents a phallus. The devil has won, he has taken over Rihanna. And she is asking for more. At the end of the song, Rihanna asks her rapists to come into her again. Sick. It's raining. Ooh baby it's raining. Baby come into me. Come into me. It's raining. Oh baby it's raining. The ooh baby makes it clear that we're not talking about raindrops falling from the sky. It means she is wet and ready to welcome the devil again inside her. The analysis of Rihanna's umbrella was to prove the fact that the general public is blind to the hidden messages on the present in mass media. Kids from all over the world sing and dance to this song while registering unconsciously the hidden layers of symbolism. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.